Harvey pelted the Texas coastline with rain and whipping winds. In just 56 hours, Harvey grew from an unnamed storm to a life threatening hurricane. This SUV was abandoned in Corpus Christi, partially. Slamming into Florida's Panhandle region, Hurricane Michael came ashore as the most powerful storm in more than a century. When it made landfall, roofs were ripped off, trees downed and coastal flooding left many homes and businesses submerged. In all, 375,000 residents were told to evacuate, but many decided to ride the storm out instead. Hi, I'm Dr. Jerry Bell. I'm the lead seasonal hurricane forecaster at NOAA's Climate Prediction Center. Last year's Atlantic hurricane season produced some devastating storms with the landfall of both Florence and Michael. Also last year, the combined eastern and central Pacific hurricane regions were incredibly active and produced 23 named storms throughout the season. This year's 2019 Atlantic hurricane season which runs from June 1st through November 30th, is almost here, so it's time to start getting prepared. Here at NOAA, we're predicting a 40% chance that the 2019 Atlantic hurricane season will be near normal. There's a 30% chance of the season being above normal, and also a 30% chance of the season being below normal. Overall, this year's outlook reflects competing climate factors. The ongoing El Nino is expected to help suppress the activity in contrast, warmer than average sea surface temperatures in the tropical Atlantic Ocean and an expected stronger than normal West African monsoon favor increased activity. As we saw last year, it takes just one storm to do tremendous damage. Hurricane Florence in September 2018 brought record rainfall, which produced significant inland flooding in the Carolinas. Hurricane Michael made landfall in the Florida Panhandle as a quick developing Category 5 storm and left a wake of destruction in its path. 